In this video, I will be guiding you through the 12 mark calculation questions for paper 2b. And what makes this video unique is that the student remark paper is provided. So let's get straight into the question. Using Appendix 2 and other information, consider the two options for the first performance at the theatre. Which is the best option for Zara to choose? Justify your answer using calculations. Generally speaking, in every Paper 2 Part B 12 mark calculation question, there will be two options for you to choose from and also a recommendation. So let's have a look at the mark scheme for this particular question. Now as you can see, there's option 1, advantage, disadvantage. Option 2, advantage and disadvantage. But the problem here is that there are no calculations. I'm going to prove that you can get a level 2 with a single calculation. But before that, I'm going to give you a list of the best calculations to use. The best ones to use are profit and profit margin, gross profit, gross profit margin, current ratio, asset test ratio, break even output and margin of safety. If you can memorize all of these calculations, you will have no problem in any of the calculation questions. So let's have a look at Appendix B for this question. I've calculated everything that I can for option 1 and option 2. I've calculated the profit, the profit margin, the gross profit and the gross profit margin for both option 1 and option 2. And for option 2, for good measure, I have also calculated the break-even output. And now we move on to the candidate script. Please be reminded that I have had a written confirmation that I am allowed to use this candidate script as an example for this video. As you can see for option 1, this candidate has only done a profit calculation, which was 1000 minus 1210 equals minus 210. And as you can see to the right of this answer, both the examiner and the remark examiner agreed that it was level 2. As you can see, there's very little writing. Similar for option 2, that they did exactly the same calculation. So the profit was 2500 minus 2240 equals 260. And that was issued a level 2. Moreover, this candidate has said that the profit margin was 10.4% and the calculation was 260 divided by 2500 times 100 equals 10.4%. And that was issued another level 2. So in total, this candidate has had three level 2s. Now moving on to the level 3s. Now, this candidate for the recommendation wrote a lot, but where the level 3 was actually issued from the remark was when they said, option 2 will be able to more quickly break even with less performances. This is counted as a justification as they have justified that option 2 is the better option as they will break even with less performances. This in turn allowed this particular candidate to score a level 3 for the particular justification that they've given. Alternatively, there is another way that you can get these level 3 marks. And this is to provide a brand new calculation justifying your option and why it is the best. Let me show you. So here I've written option 2 is the best because option 2 has got $450 more profit compared to option 1. This will be classified as a level 3 answer as $450 is a brand new calculation. This is the sum of the profit of option 2 minus the profit of option 1, which made a loss. And that equals to $450. As this is a new calculation, I am justifying why option 2 is better than option 1, which is worthy of a level 3 answer. Now I'm going to prove this to you with another mark scheme from another question. 
As previously stated, all question B calculation questions will have two options for you to calculate. Now, option one says that the profit per month is $3,000, and option two has a profit of $2,000. Now, how do we make a new calculation from that? So, in the recommendation in the mark scheme, says that option one is better because it has $1,000 more profit compared to option two. This is just $3,000 minus $2,000, and that gives us $1,000, which is our justification why option one is better. The next level three mark was the calculation between the difference of the gross profit margin of option one and option two. So let me take you to the appendix. So the appendix here says that option one, which was given to you at 75%, and option two was 83.33%. So these you don't have to calculate yourself as these were already given. So how do we make a new calculation to get the level three? So what we did was we got the gross profit margin of option two of 83.33% minus the gross profit margin of option one, which is 75%, which gave us 8.33%. And in the mark scheme, it says exactly this. The gross profit margin is 8.33% higher, which was our next level three answer. So to summarize on how to get your level three points, all you need to do is provide a new calculation and tell why option two is better than option one or vice versa. Please note, you might be wondering why I scored out the 1,000 more than option two for level two. The reason for this is because we are saving this for the level three recommendation. As Cambridge does not like candidates repeating any points, if we set this in option two, indeed, we will be awarded the level two. However, if we scroll down here, because we have already said this in the analysis above, this, will, this level three will not be awarded because this is just a mere repetition of your level two answer. So the top tip here is to make sure you do not use all of your calculations in the analysis in the option one and option two, because then you run the risk of repeating your analysis points for the level three in turn, which will not get you any level three marks. I hope that helped. I hope you have a good day. Bye bye.